Alright, here she is, Taylor Swift. Come on in. Come in, come in, come in. Clap your hands. Come in, come in. Uh, the clapping that's you're welcome how's it going it's going really well how are you guys doing i'm good what time did you wake up this morning i woke up at six in the morning we had uh thought maybe they had set up a mock studio like ours and ran you through what we may ask you that happened they built a fake one of these and like and we had like a trial run yes like the president does um of course good this is a very important day for me uh, it is right <laughs> exactly it's important to get it right you have already gone off script I have a, an article that I'd like to read to you. Oh, this, okay. This is an article written about you and I at the same time. You probably didn't see it in USA Today. Did you? It depends on what day in USA Today. Well, when was this, Eddie? Like last Tuesday? Uh, yes, last Monday. So they did this article, and it was written by, let me credit the right guy here, Nate Rao. And he says, quote, Bones, that's me. I'm, but I'm Bobby. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. It says... Bones has risen through the radio industry as meteoric as Taylor Swift through country music. Wow. Boom. That's like two, really like two, me two meteors in a room right now. Well, he was like being very complimentary of both of us. I feel like we should send him a thank you note. Together. That's what I meant. Like one. But we both sign it and maybe like draw cartoons on it. Meteors. That's so exciting. Like planets. Can you draw? Can you draw? <laughs> yeah. Are you an artist? I mean, well, I mean... Everyone can draw. Like the quality of it is really kind of everyone else's opinion. It's not. I'm not like good at it, but I do draw on stuff all the time. What kind of art do you have in your house? Um, I don't really have art in my house. I just have pictures of my friends and like my family, and I like to take pictures more than I like to draw. What's your one favorite picture you have in your house? If you had to pick one Ooh, picture. Okay. Um, if I had to pick one, it would probably be of me and T Pain. When you were doing the yep. video for the award show? Yeah. It's just like a really important moment to capture fashion wise. What's in the what's in the picture? Uh we're sitting on stairs, like we're sitting on the steps and we and I have like gold chains on and like a, a hat to the side and like I'm basically kind of trying to emulate what he's wearing, which on me looked a little choice. <laughs> He pulls it. He definitely pulls it off better than I do. But it was like that was one of the funniest days of my life, I think. So that's one of my favorite pictures. My picture with James Taylor is one of my favorites. And then I have this picture of my dad in the studio listening to new music like a couple years ago. And it's black and white. And he's just got the biggest smile on his face. And that's kind of like the quintessential quintessential memory I have of my dad of like just listening to new music and smiling. So that's one of my favorites, too. So talk about your dad for a second. How influential has he been through your life career etc really influential um my parents are this amazing blend of kind of opposite personalities and so it works out really well because my mom is the one who i know will tell me if like if i need to change something or if something she's kind of real with me all the time and my dad just thinks everything's great all the time so that's kind of nice like every time i walk up stage, she's like oh that was the best show. It was the best show. And it's really nice to get that like positive, um, just constant. He's just so excited about everything, which is nice. What's your Starbucks drink over there? What do you drink? What do you order? Oh, this is a um, this is a skinny caramel latte situation. I've never tasted coffee. Like I don't drink coffee. Like you never even tried no, it. No, never. I'm judging you. I've never tried coffee. <laughs> Why wouldn't you even try it's it just one time? Just like, oh, I think I'm going to, oh, uh, I tried it now. Because it smells bad. Like, I've never tasted beer either. Because. Well, no, I, do, I haven't done that. Either. No, I have done. Well, I'm not talking about that. Well, it's, <laughs> it smells to me like pee. So it doesn't smell like it's appealing. Beer. Well, or and coffee smells like, you know, dookie. Cigarettes. A little bit. Yeah, that, that, that too. But I love coffee. I, I love coffee too. Coffee's like such a. I think it's it's more, it's less about the taste and it's more about the experience. The experience and the it experience just kind of is like a like coffee, like becomes, Disney World. Like it becomes like a security blanket almost. Me with a little coffee cup and a saucer, that's the experience. Oh no, that's cozy. Yes. That's Can you cute. go to Walmart? Yes. Do you go? Do you ever go to Walmart? Do you have to put a disguise on or anything like that? No, no. Here's here the thing with disguises. Like I. I'm not the kind of person who could ever get away with a committing any kind of crime, whether it be petty or anything like I would get arrested. Second, I can't wear disguises or else people will know. 
Um, I can't like lie overtly about things or else like you will know it's I'm not one of those people who can like, oh, my God, go out incognito and nobody will find out like someone will find out point and call me a loser for dressing up and trying to like be that girl. And I find it I guess I've seen like in L.A. Sometimes this happens. You'll go into a restaurant and there's somebody dressed like just like too many layers of clothing, a hood, a hat, like hunched over. And, you know, that's an actor trying not to look famous. Sometimes the disguise gives you away more than just like walking around being normal. And also people don't think that you're like you have some weird social like issues to work out. So you do get to kind of be normal. No, 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 it's not a normal situation going to Walmart for me, but I don't try to make it even weirder by like wearing a wig because I've also worn wigs in my music videos. So people kind of know what that looks like, too. There's 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 no doing it. I shouldn't. I, I just never try. Do you feel a little bit secluded at times because you can't go out? Is it starting to get to that point where a little bit you're like, ah, this kind of sucks now? Well, I mean, I can go out and I do go out. It's not a it's not like a normal situation. It's the most normal in Nashville because People know I've lived here for like seven, eight years now, so um, it's the most normal here. And there's no paparazzi here, which is the best thing ever because um, having every day documented kind of gives you a little bit of anxiety. But um, I think it's it's important to go through normal activities. I really like normal activities. I really like hiking and going to the grocery store and doing my own shopping. I like malls. I'm not going to start like hating malls just because malls are like a kind of a social situation for me now, more so than they ever were. It's weird. I used to like go to the mall when I was a kid and there'd be like a group of girls and I'd be like, oh, my God, I wish I was included in that group of girls. And now I go to the mall and it's like there's a group of girls and they're like running towards me, which is it's a different dynamic. Whenever the paparazzi's in L.A., what kind of mean things do they scream at you? They don't scream mean things at me, which is really nice. Or... I just put headphones in or whatever. They're usually just like, are you having a good day today? And I'm just sort of like, I don't like, this is just so stressful, this whole interaction. So I, you, I, I do what you, what I call kind of like the fear face where I just kind of like, it looks like I'm just ignoring everybody and I have my head down, but I'm really just like terrified and trying not to trip and fall in front of people. Do you look through the magazines where they have your pictures like paparazzi? To go, oh, that was not a good, no, good no, moment. No, 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 that's not. Because, like, I think th- there, are, there are a lot of different ways you can approach this from, from like, a mental perspective. Um, when your life changes and all of a sudden everything you do is documented, good and bad, every opinion is, like, out there. And I think that you can either, like, put up all these walls and be like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm personally not capable of that because I am a songwriter. I have feelings i write songs about my feelings i have to be vulnerable in order to write songs about my life so i can't like put up walls and not care what people think so i have to not subject myself to things that are going to hurt my feelings so i can't read magazines or like googling myself is like a terrifying idea for me sometimes i'm scared of newspapers it's not weird like i don't run from them but like i just don't really read stuff that isn't like an album review like i'll read an album review in the new york times or rolling stone or something but i'm not going to read like something that says that like i did something i didn't do or like some some angle on it that's twisted and weird or trying to make it seem like it was wrong or i just don't really have it in me to look at stuff like that that was the longest answer to any question you've ever asked i was just staring at the cookies (laughs) did you bring cookies in (laughs) yeah i did are are those for us or did you just bring them and you're not done eating them (laughs) (laughs) breakfast i brought them for you guys um i've been i've okay i was obsessed with cooking things with baking things with like pumpkin and cinnamon and stuff like last month and now i'm into on to like peppermint stuff so what are the cookies peppermint they're uh, mint chocolate chip cookies, like the kind of like the ice cream you would get that's mint with chocolate chips. It's like that kind of cookie. Well, I have you something too. Hand me that thing right there. Is this, this is a pumpkin. That, okay. That's not for me. What are you talking about? They're looking at you. When you brought a gift to me, I had to, I have one for you. <laughs> this is a pumpkin with orange flowers in it mm-hmm. to show our appreciation for coming on our show. No, they all definitely gave you away there. Where did this come from? <laughs> that, uh, Rick and Premier gave that to me for 30 Abes. Oh, <laughs> I, and she really likes it and you just took it from her. No, I would... I need to take it out of the paper, though. Okay. <laughs> the plastic. Mind. Taylor Swift is with us here. Hey, let me have a cookie. Hey, oh. Cody, come here. I want you to I want oh. you to talk to Taylor about something. 
Cody is our intern. It's like okay. We have like a <gasps> top. And they're green. Can they you... are. They're green like the ice cream. Yeah. Do you, you made these really? Yeah, I made them yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is I supposed to make those to, like today? I, there's no hours left in the day. That, for but this. did you make them for us or they leftovers? Yes, I made them for you. I'm just ask them. They're so cynical. <laughs> well, okay. So this guy here, he's got a date tonight. Hey. And he needs some advice from. Because Cody, how old Show are you? Show your shoes. Show your. Do you have Velcro shoes on? Those are sick. <laughs> no, that's good. He, See, I told you they're cool. He's, I like he's they're, they're, he's, they're childlike. I like it. And he's childlike. That's good. So he has a date tonight. How old is she? Twenty-two. You're twenty. Yeah. So from one girl to an, to another to young a guy, guy, right? Where yeah. should what should he ta- <laughs> what should he take her to do tonight? Because everything I tell him, he doesn't like. Everything. What's the dynamic so far? She likes uh, him. We she works here. Date. She works in there, and so, they're both interns. Sorry, they're talking over you a lot. What did you say? <laughs> we're we're both interns here. But the dynamic is that you both like each other, or do you like her and you're not sure if she likes you or she likes yeah, you and you're not sure? That about. right there. Okay, so you like each other. Maybe. I don't know if she does or not. Okay, so you don't <laughs> want to do something to like candle it and yeah. like seclude it or anything, because that could you wanna do something fun. Take her to a pumpkin patch or like a hayride or something. Is that happening here? Is that a thing? I have we gotten can... advice to do that. Okay, then do that. Do something with coffee. Go get coffee and then take the coffee and go on a hayride or go to a pumpkin patch. Do we have corn mazes? Do we have things like, because corn ma- you could get lost Research in a corn maze. Oh my God, we're I in a corn maze. Lost lost. In notes. <laughs> so cute that this, like, oh, 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 go to, um, I know, I know. What's that thing that we have here that with all the lights and it's, Cheekwood. go to Cheekwood. All right, Cheekwood it is. All right, you're done, Cody. <laughs> you're free to go. Damn. All right, there he is. You're welcome. Thank you, Taylor. Lunch told him to go to Bingo. Yeah, I thought that was a good idea. That's actually an awesome idea. Yeah, Bingo's fun. (laughs)